What mysteries can there be about human evolution? Also known as hominization, human evolution is the process of biological evolution of the human species, from its ancestors to the present day. And, although scientists have taken it upon themselves to reveal the best-kept secrets of this process, there are still steps in evolution that science simply cannot explain. While some theories of hominization try to explain certain evolutionary advantages of humans, others try to correct misconceptions that we had about our ancestors. But, what about our future? What is the next step in evolution? Come on this journey through the history of the human being and discover the unsolved mysteries of human evolution. And for some extra fun, find our mascot Ned, hiding throughout the video. Why do we human beings walk with two feet? Dancing is super fun. Can you imagine not being able to? Bipedalism in humans was one of the first characteristics that our ancestors developed by separating from primates during evolution. And there are two great theories that seek to explain why this happened. The first of these theories states that we walk on two feet to save energy. Because when studying chimpanzees, scientists realize that they spend three times more energy walking on all fours. The second assures that walking on two feet released our hands, allowing us to use tools and collect food more easily. Although both theories seem to explain this behavior, scientists have not yet come to an agreement. Maybe we evolved to walk upright for a very different reason than saving energy or freeing our hands. To burn all the calories, and with your hands busy. Dancing. What is the best way to form the first communities? Through a fun dance. Why do we sleep? Sleeping is one of the most important parts of having a healthy mental and physical life. When we sleep, our brain processes are less demanding and our bodies rest and prepare for the new day. This is why sleeping too little can cause and aggravate existing illnesses, cause hallucinations or even death. However, we still do not know how sleep helps all these processes. We do not even know definitively why we sleep. What we can affirm is that sleep is a great evolutionary advantage. Since this action is present in practically the entire animal kingdom, would you like to participate in the research they do on our ability to sleep? They would be paying you to nap, it would be great. Monoethnicity. Can you imagine a world without diversity? Everyone will look, dress, and behave the same way. No language barriers, no cultural traditions. Does not sound fun at all, right? Multiculturalism is the essence of modern society, because according to some estimates, around 24,000 ethnic groups live in the world. All with different customs and cultures. However, according to some scientists, in the future we will be a single ethnic group, this due to the continuous cultural mix between humans. The most interesting thing about this is that at some point we will all share characteristics of people from all over the world, so it is very likely that we will not have racial problems between us. Perhaps, we are on our way to live in harmony. Color blindness. Imagine that from one day to the next you get up and you cannot see the colors of the world well, surely you would not like it. Well, this condition is known as color blindness and affects the ability to distinguish colors visible to the human eye. It may sound like a huge disadvantage, however, the armies found an excellent way to make it an advantage. The ability to only see a few colors was clearly used in World War II, where armies used colorblind soldiers to detect enemies camouflaged in the battlefield. So, if you think about it, color blindness can be considered as a kind of superpower. How do we age? What is the best anti-aging product you have ever heard of? Regardless of the beauty products we use, and how much we spend on treatments, it is impossible to look young forever. Because aging is a natural process, and it is completely irreversible. And despite this, we still do not know exactly what causes our body to age. Some scientists claim that it is due to chemicals present in our bodies, or to the decrease in the protective layers of DNA. The truth is that these factors do not explain the entire aging process, so, there are still multiple discussions and theories about it, making it a mystery to the world of science. Do you think that it is possible to reverse aging? What are dreams for? Surely you do not remember what happens in them, but every day we dream while we sleep. Whether they are nightmares or images that make us happy like flying or petting puppies, dreams are a constant in life, 
but we still don't know why or why we dream. Some theories suggest that we dream to practice solutions to problems of our daily life, which would explain why it is advisable to sleep if we do not know how to solve a situation. Do you like to dream? What are the most interesting dreams you have ever had? Depression We all feel sad at some point in our lives, either because something went wrong or because of bad news. However, depression goes further. It is a state in which the person feels deep sadness often without knowing the reason. As you know, not all people suffer from depression. Research in the areas of mental health and immunology are working together, this sounds like a strange partnership, but, here is why it's not as crazy as it sounds. After a lot of research, according to scientists, there may be a correlation between the genes that inherit depression, and those that help us protect ourselves from pathogens and bacteria. Depression makes us feel the need to stay away from people, which is why, without knowing the reason. Being away from people it is one of the ways that our body avoids contracting a disease. This theory is one of many trying to explain the emotional range of our mind. Our body always wants the best for us, but maybe it goes overboard sometimes. Why humans have no fur? If you look around or in the mirror, you will realize that human beings are not covered in hair. And although it may be normal for us, when we compare ourselves with the rest of the mammals of the animal kingdom. It is very strange that we have so little. So why is this? The most accepted theory says that our ancestors began to explore areas of the planet with fewer trees and vegetation. So, they were more exposed to the sun and heat. Due to this, they began to lose more and more hair, making it easier for their bodies to expel heat, and to stay cool more times, without needing to be consuming water all the time. But, as is often the case in the world of science, there is still no definitive answer to this evolutionary change. Have you felt cooler when you cut your hair? This may be the explanation. How did our ability to speak evolve? Have you ever heard a bird sing in the morning, and tried to imitate its sweet melody? Well, pay attention the next time you do it. Because behind that action the origin of the ability to speak in human beings could be hidden. Like many things about our past, the ability to communicate with words remains a mystery to the world of science, as well as when it originated. But since 2012, various groups of scientists believe that speech may come from the howls and grunts of early primates. How do we go from those strange sounds to the words we can form now? Science keeps asking you. Our brain when it is at rest. Of all the objects in the universe, the human brain may be the most complex of all. Having as many neurons as there are stars in outer space. It is no surprise, then, that science still does not know very well what is happening within that white and gray mass that occupies our skull. Scientists are especially confused with brain activity while at rest, that is, while we sleep. According to some studies, in this state, the brain uses 20% of the total oxygen that the body needs. Which leads us to think that the most complicated processes in our body are carried out when we are not conscious. Maybe that's why it's so important that we sleep at least 7 hours a day. I need couple more than 7. How about you? What caused Neanderthals to go extinct? If you have never had children, you should know that babies are especially vulnerable to ear infections. Since they are not being fully developed and bacteria that causes different diseases can enter more easily. By studying the ears of our extinct ancestors, the Neanderthals, scientists found that adults of this species never developed the part of the ear that filters bacteria and helps prevent infection. This, combined with the fact that in prehistory there were no drugs or doctors to treat diseases, seems to be the definitive cause of the extinction of the Neanderthal. We certainly have a lot to thank modern medicine for. And remember, Clean your ears every day after a shower. Using a face towel or a paper napkin is the best way to keep your ears clean. Cotton tips can actually be harmful to our ear canals since the wax that builds up can actually get stuck inside, causing potential harmful bacteria to grow more easily. As you could see, as much as our knowledge allows us to solve the greatest mysteries of our planet and the universe, there are still many secrets of our own evolutionary history as a species that we cannot decipher. Will we ever succeed in decoding what is hidden in our DNA or in our own brain? 
As long as we are curious and investigating, we will surely come to the answers. Thanks for watching the video. And see you next time. Remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe. So, you can get instant notifications for all our new videos.